Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, today we got UK gun laws explained. I don't know anything about the UK gun, gun laws. I pretty much think that they just don't have guns there. That's how I, that's the only thing like I know. But I, I don't even know it, but that's how I think of it. Guns are heavily restricted in the UK, but contrary to what many people believe, including many Brits, owning a firearm is not illegal. On average, Britain has 6.5 guns. Even the Brits are confused about that. Per 100 people, compared to the USA, which has 101 guns per 100 people. Wow, that's like 19 times more. Huh. According to the small arm, we have more guns than people. Arm survey. It's Unlike crazy. the Americans with the Second Amendment, gun ownership in the UK is a privilege, not a right. Whether or not this is the right approach is not up for debate in this video, but feel free to discuss it at length in the comments section. Firearms control <laughs> in the UK into is among the toughest in the world, and firearms offences continue to make up less than 0.2% of recorded crime. As you would expect, with such lapses hmm. continue to make up less than 0.2% of recorded crime. Okay. As you would expect, so one out of 500 crimes. With such low gun ownership, gun-related deaths are incredibly rare. According to the Geneva Declaration of Armed Violence and Development, it stands at one death per million people wow. per year. One death per million people. So not one death per million deaths, but one death per million people. One out of every million people dies from a gun every year. Okay. Hmm. The UK. I mean, what's that like in the US? I'm the population not sure. is around about 56 million people, and that only adds up to around 50 to 60 gun homicides annually. The okay. rules around gun ownership can vary depending on where you are. I mean, whew. Just thinking about those numbers. So we have like six times as many people. So that would equate to like 300 homicides. And we get that many in like. I mean, in Chicago alone, they get that many in like, oh my gosh, like how, uh, two or three months, maybe? 50 to 60 gun homicides annually. The rules around gun ownership can vary depending on where you are in the UK, particularly in Northern Ireland, where due to the Good Friday Agreement, the laws are much less restrictive and over 5% of the population own a firearm, though these gun owners hmm. are not permitted to transport their weapons to mainland Britain. So, who in general so it would be interesting to know the... The statistics on the crime there. The laws are much less restrictive, and over 5% of the population own a firearm, though these gun owners are not permitted huh. to transport their weapons to mainland Britain. So who, in general, can obtain a firearm? To possess or purchase a firearm, <laughs> an individual in the UK must be assessed as not posing a threat to public safety by the police, who act okay. as the licensing authority. In addition, oh. the individual must have a good reason to own a firearm and be able to demonstrate to the licensing authority that they require their firearm for work, sport, or leisure. Hmm. So there's not a lot of hunting, obviously, that goes on in the UK, huh? But is that like a is that is that a reason why you might get a license? to go hunting but if not very many people hunt then i don't know it just seems i don't know like people might be <laughs> might not know the safety of how to act around a an area where there might be hunters and stuff hmm. on a regular legitimate basis such as being a member of a target shooting club the reason the police are the licensing authority is because they possess... I wonder what caliber guns they get. Like, for target shooting, they don't have to have any kind of high caliber. ...local information that helps inform their judgment, and discretion over what constitutes a good reason is often left up to chief officers. To own a firearm in the UK, a person must undergo a strict vetting procedure, which includes interviews, visits to the person's property, criminal record checks, and wow. references from friends. In addition... The I mean, it does does make sense that that's what you would need like kind of you know like there's two different ways of really looking at it there's like the freedom way um you know and it's kind of weird to think that like some government authority would be the people who they all get the guns and their citizens don't have any you know uh guns to either protect themselves or to you know equal out the the balance of power <laughs> it's all kind of weird 
I honestly don't, I don't have like a super strong opinion on it because I, I could see it going either way. Um, cause obviously they show that when guns are banned or when they're much more restricted, then of course, much, much less people die from gun violence. So the applicant's GP may be contacted. Once a firearm license is issued and paid for, the licensed individual must store their gun securely to avoid access by any unlicensed person. What firearms may be licensed in the UK? Unless hmm. declared specially dangerous by the Firearms Dangerous Air Weapons Rules of 1969, low-powered air weapons are generally not licensed in England and Wales. That means that okay. if you purchase one of these, you do not require a license. So in that's just like a BB gun. order to possess it. It is often said that handguns are outright banned, which is not strictly true. An individual mm. may own long-barreled revolvers and long-barreled pistols, which are defined with a barrel of at least 30 centimetres. Hmm, interesting. In length, and that the firearm is at least 60. So you can't have something you would conceal, like, super easily. But, I mean, you could still conceal that, like, in a coat. So I don't really... I don't really understand why you can get a long barrel, but like at that point, except for like gang, gang violence, like it kind of makes sense. Like 60 centimeters uh. long, long barreled single shot firearms of any caliber and semi-automatic pistols of 22 rimfire caliber are permitted with a firearm certificate. Those. Hmm. So these, these revolvers have to be 22 caliber, is that right? That do not meet these criteria would be considered a pistol in UK law and are effectively banned, with the exception mm. of muzzle-loading pistols, including muzzle-loading revolvers, which are permitted as long as they meet the criteria set forth in the regulations. All of the pistols are prohibited in Great Britain. Shotguns are legal on a shotgun certificate as long as they can't hold more than three shotgun shells, including the one in the chamber, if it's a pump action or semi-automatic shotgun. However, shotguns with a detachable magazine or larger fixed magazine are still permitted, but you'll have to obtain a Section 1 firearm certificate. Rifles are also permitted. These are defined by UK law as a rifled firearm with a barrel longer than 30 centimeters or 12 inches, and a total length of the rifle must be longer than 60 centimeters or 12. So that's the same measurements as this back here, isn't it? Right there for that pistol. That'd be a big pistol, be 24 inches long. <laughs> inches, and a total length I mean, of the rifle long. must be longer than 60 centimeters Sorry. or 24 inches. And <laughs> it must also show. not fall under the classification <laughs> of a long barrel revolver or pistol. pistol. Rifles are permitted in any caliber size, as long as it oh. doesn't meet the definition of self-loading or pump action. Semi-automatic oh, gotcha. or pump action rifles are only permitted at a 22 rimfire caliber. Okay, what might surprise sense. you is that under sort UK of. law, it is legal for you to own the following weaponry, with the correct licensing, of course. The M&P 1522, which is based on the AR-15, HK 416, semi-automatic cool 22 <laughs> rimfire caliber. Oh, the MP5. MP5. Ruger 1022, Beretta ARX 160, and you can even own an Uzi as long as it's a 22, <laughs> 22 caliber, caliber Uzi. So next time someone says I'd that the dope. UK banned guns, we didn't. But oh man. I want a 22 Uzi. Two rimfire caliber. So next time someone says <laughs> that the UK banned guns, we didn't. But we do strongly restrict and gotcha. control who can own firearms and what firearms can be owned. And generally speaking, culturally, we don't have the same affinity or interest in firearms as our American cousins. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave up to you. <laughs> so let me know in the... Probably good. But. Comments, your thoughts on the UK's <laughs> approach to gun laws. I'd love to hear it. Does it shock you? Does it concern you? Let me know. Thanks very much. Yeah, guns are weird because it's like, it's almost like it would be better if they had just never been uh, invented, you know? But now that some people have guns, it's like, okay, if some people have guns, then everybody should be able to have a gun, you know? That's, I think that's the fundamental, like, idea in America. Um, that... Uh, the gun people kind of have they also just think they're cool and like to shoot them i don't know <laughs> they are cool anyway all right <laughs> that was interesting i i honestly uh i had no idea that that you could obtain like rifles and stuff in the uk um but here in indiana 
I keep, I was about to say goodbye, but I keep thinking of stuff like here in Indiana, so many people hunt. I mean, almost probably half of your, half of the men in, in high school, the boys in high school hunt, you know what I mean? So that's just a crazy cultural difference, but okay. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.